You already know it, email automation is a powerhouse. But what happens when your competitors use that same powerhouse automation as you? How do you stand out and how do you win? Today I'll show you how to stay one step ahead of your competitors with your welcome and card abandonment automation. It's a lot easier than you think. So let's go ahead and jump in. We already have our automations active sending welcome and card abandonment. So I'm gonna jump into my email marketing platform. I'm using OmniSend because it is radically awesome. So I'm gonna start with abandoned cart and then we'll shift over to welcome after that. So again, we can see we've got our cart abandonment workflow. I could talk one these days set up and I'm sending three messages here, one, two, three, which I'd recommend even a fourth if you need to. So how do we differentiate from our competitors and stay a step ahead? Well, what if we do a little split and we treat our customers who abandon carts just a little bit differently. And one of the things we can do is based on free shipping. So if we have a threshold on our website and we'll just assume it's $35 for our website, we could say, okay, what do we wanna do here? Well, anyone who's under that free shipping threshold, we want to get them over so that they can experience some of the value out of the brand and feel like they got free shipping, that's what they want. They spend over, we don't need to really promote that a whole lot. We make that more of a, a value add after the fact. So let's choose a simple split and we'll say, okay, what is our car total? And we'll say, is it more than, we'll go 35 bucks. Now you could do less than, more than 34.99, less than 35, whatever you wanna do here. So I'm just gonna do this for simplicity. We'll update this and now I've got my split and I've got, okay, if it's more than $35, I've already qualified for free shipping and I can go through, I've got my message. Now I created a fourth message, it was real quick, took me just a couple minutes to do, that's how easy it is, for that no path. And then we can add on and just keep going. We can loop them back in wherever we need to. But if they haven't qualified, for $35 of free shipping. They're gonna get a message that looks like this. And I'll jump in and show you what this looks like. So we'll edit the content, we'll save that. And we're gonna go, again, we could just copy the same message we did before and do the little tweak. So, hey, we're gonna do the same sense of urgency on here. Don't forget, all orders over $35 get free shipping. So we wanna reinforce that to people that, hey, spend a little bit more, we can get a little bit more. You get that free shipping you love. Now, you don't have to incentivize, but I'm gonna incentivize them here and I'm gonna say, okay, we'll even give you 10% off if you spend over 50. So let's say they spend $50 on the nose. 10%, $5. I've gotten the average order value to $45 now, not less than 35, and they've gotten free shipping. So they're getting a discount, makes them feel good. They're getting free shipping, makes them feel good. It's a win-win. Now you can always use uh, any sort of verbiage here to kind of showcase how to get them over that $35. Sense of urgency, it could be uh, product star ratings, testimonials, whatever you need to, but it's quite that simple, right? And then you can continue to build on your workflow as you go. So say you wanna send the same message to the same message three as you did your first message. You can do that, just come here, click clone, creates a copy, drag it over. Drop it there. You can add your delay right here. Super simple. Wait 11 hours. And you can see this is taking me a minute to do. And then let's get, I'll give you an example of what the message might look like for anyone who already meets that free shipping threshold. So let's go in here so we can get a better view. And this one, again, some of the same content. Hey, you left some items in your cart. They might sell out fast. Don't let others get what's yours. But here's the qualifier. Hey, since you've already qualified for free shipping, there's no need to wait. Buy today, be happy. So I'm gonna reinforce the fact they got free shipping and boom, it's done. And it's quite that easy, it's simple. Are your competitors doing this? Probably not. How long did that take me? A minute or two? And it's, it's pretty simple to do. So this is how you can continue to stay a step ahead. Now think about this. You could do continue doing splits for multiple under 35, 35 to 70, 71 to 100. So you could really treat high value shoppers a lot differently. There's also different split functionalities in here, which I'm not gonna go through, but we can split based on purchase history, stuff like that. Now, if you don't have a shopping cart abandonment message already set up and sending, or you wanna expand that series, the message two, message three, I've already done another video that walks you through good examples of shopping cart abandonment messages and what to put in there to make them sell more. So be sure to check that out on our YouTube page. And it's that's it. We save our workflow and we are good to go. now. Let's do the same thing, but for the welcome message. And I'm gonna to go to my welcome series here. And again, it's already sending. You can have one, two, or three messages. In this case, I've got message one, message two, and message three here. Now, what do we wanna split here? Well, let's take a look at message one, because all our shoppers are going to be different, but here's the difference. You've gotten them to your site. That is the hardest thing to do. They've gone to your site because there's some sort of intention to shop there. 
could have done paid ads, paid social, whatever it might be to get them there. And we've got our welcome message here. So, hey, welcome to Brand Awesome, because that's my brand. Here, get this inside, give them reason to open up. Let's take a look at what this message looks like here. So, welcome to Brand Awesome. Hey, you know, we're glad you joined us. Happy shopping. We're gonna give you a welcome discount, which we advertise at our, our pop-up, 10% off. And then we've got some top categories, customer favorites, whatever. So you can see, we've got our navigation bar up here, four navigations. We've got the same things repeating our top categories. So what are the, is the difference between all these shoppers coming to my website? Well, difference is they're all shopping for something different from one another. So what if we use that and say, okay, you tell us what you're shopping for. You haven't bought yet. Let me send you messaging based on what you're actually shopping for. So what we can do here is the same thing we did with our shopping cart abandonment a little bit more. Let's split this right here and say, what are we filtering on? Message engagement. So did they open or click the message? I wanna know what they're shopping for. Open doesn't tell me what they're shopping for. So let's say, hey, did they click on the message? Now, which message? We're gonna do email and we're gonna choose that first message here, which is at the very top. And then we're gonna say, okay, which value did they click on? So predefine, any, or generated. And that's like your coupon code. So any message, any link again, we're gonna do a pretty fine here. So the, it's gonna pull up all the links in my message. So again, we have that navigation bar and those subcategories down there that repeat. So what if I say, okay, I wanna target anyone who's shopped shoes. So I'm gonna say, hey, there's my navigation link. And then I can do, we've got this here. So I'm gonna say, okay, if you clicked on that URL, it's great. And then I can add a, another split rule. And we'll say they clicked on that link. But remember, we had that subcategory down below, that recovery section. So, or, and we're gonna do the same thing. Message engagement, they clicked on email. It's that first email they clicked on. And we're gonna choose a second shoes category down there. Save, and now we're updated. So we've got a welcome message. Same one goes to everyone, just like all these other brands do. Then we're gonna say, hey, if they clicked on shoes, we're gonna send them a different message or a different path. Anyone else who clicked on something, they're gonna get the rest of the series. So again, we can put our delay in here. We'll wait one day. Of course, you can always put this split, which I should have done after the delay, but we'll just make that match there, so one day. And now again, for simplicity, I already went ahead and created a draft. Oh, I created it down here, a draft message, and I'll just drag this one over, put it there, and I'll show you what this one looks like. So this message took me all of about five minutes to create. You clicked on shoes you're probably shopping for shoes. So this is my next message. Which shoes do our customers love most? Take the stress out of shopping to find the perfect pair of shoes. So all I'm doing is customizing this message in the verbiage to target those shoe shoppers. Now, I haven't done anything specific here to target the types of shoes they're looking for. I can if I want to, but I'm gonna make it a little more generic. Hey, I'm gonna remember or remind them that they have that 10% off welcome offer here. And I'm gonna stick that in here. Plus, you know, I did this shopping cart abandonment. Free shipping on all orders over $49.99. So our store, we changed 35, 40, 50, whatever it is. But I'm gonna remind them they get free shipping. Again, we wanna double dip that incentive and the free shipping, or if we don't offer an incentive, remind them that they're going to get a perk, in this case, free shipping. Now, again, we can customize this and you can format this however you want. So for simplicity's sake, top rated women's shoes, and I've selected four products here that we can dynamically insert in, and I'm doing top rated men's shoes. So you could do top sellers, customer favorites, kind of pick and choose however you want to do this, and then shop all shoes. So here's an option where if you want to do more click-based stuff, you certainly can. So, hey, they didn't click on men's, they didn't click on women's. Maybe I added kids' shoes or I have a sales section, whatever it is. And you can also use a recovery section down here. Maybe they are interested in shoes, but they also like other stuff. So shop all shoes and have a repeated section that says shop all categories or top categories and have links to your other navigation bar categories like we saw before. But this message took me all five minutes to build. It was pretty simple. And if we just exit out of here, and now we have a customized welcome series going off based on what they're clicking. Again, you can continue to split this. Did they click on this particular link? No, send them here. Yes, you know, send them here. Now if they do, no, you could do another split. Did they click on the jeans? No, do they click on the sweaters? And you can make this as complex. I say complex, but it's really simple. But this is a simple thing you can do in a matter of minutes to make your thing stand out a little bit more. And ignore the split down here because I was just playing around with it before. And that's it. That's how you can stay a step ahead of your eShop competitors. 
in a matter of minutes and start driving that revenue. Again, just like Heart Abandonment, I did a whole video on how to create a dynamic revenue driving welcome series. Check out our YouTube page if you wanna learn more about that. And, uh, and there you have it. Two simple ways to stay ahead of your competition using automation. Now, if you're interested in learning more about OmniSend and all the value they offer, even on their free plan, be sure to visit OmniSend.com, which of course is linked in the video description. And if you're interested in more e-commerce marketing videos that will increase your sales, oh, hey, what are you doing there? Good timing. Click this fuzzy little guy right there.